Hey there, welcome to the next lesson in our video course, Kobo Toolbox for Beginners. You can continue taking this course totally free here on YouTube, but if you want or need a certificate, I want you to head over to the Humanitarian Data Academy and join the Data Club, our free membership for aid workers and change makers, just like you who manage program data in their projects. The link is in the description below. The same course is hosted there, but on the Humanitarian Data Academy site, we can verify your work and issue you a certificate when you complete the course, all for free. Now, without further ado, back to the course. Okay, so the first thing what we need to do is register an account with the Kobo Toolbox platform. Since it's a cloud-based service, of course you need an account in order to use their services. Um, so you simply go to www.kobotoolbox.org um, and then your browser should uh, open the, their website. I have done this already on my computer. So as you can see, I have uh, opened the website. Of course, if you're f um, fully new to Kobo Toolbox and you're not sure really what you're getting into, you can check out this website. It gives you a comprehensive information what Kobo Toolbox is, what you can do, um, and how you can use it for your research. However, right now we just want to concentrate on the sign up process. So on the upper right part, there are two buttons, one of which is the sign up button. If I click on that, um, you're left with two options where to register your account, either on the global Kobo Toolbox server or the Kobo Toolbox server within the European Union. What is the difference? First of all, feature wise, there's no difference here. Both will give you the exact same features and workflows. However, the important thing to keep in mind here is, is the legal implications. So if you are living and working in the European Union, and particularly if you're collecting data from citizens of the European Union, so for instance, people from Germany, from France, Spain, Poland, or any member of the European Union, you should sign up for that server because then the server is located within the European Union and it's fully compliant with the GDPR, the data privacy policy of the European Union which you need, really need to keep in mind because you're collecting data, right? Kobo Toolbox is about collecting data. So if, you're, if, you're in, if, if that's the case, you know, that you're working in the European Union or you're collecting data from citizens of the European Union, then um, sign up for this server. If that's not the case and you're working globally, you know, then you can uh, sign up for the global Kobo Toolbox server. Something you should keep in mind is that it's important that if you want to collaborate with other people who have also a Kubo Toolbox account, and for instance, you want to share data or share your form that we will create today with someone else's account, then it's important that both or all of these accounts are belonging to the same server. So that means if you're creating a the form we're creating today, right, we will share this to an enumerator account so that the enumerator account can submit data to your project. Don't worry, I will explain that to you. But it's important that my account right now and the enumerator account are both registered in the same server, either the global server or the EU server. Again, it's up to you. Right now, I will just stay with the global Kubo Toolbox server and I will click the blue button. By the way, keep in mind, in lesson number one, whenever you see a blue button in Kubo Toolbox, it's kind of important, right? <laughs> we will see later what that means. So if I'm clicking on create an account, the next thing I see is a, is a basic form that you should have seen for other services uh, in, uh, you know, in your career or in your life. And you need to provide, for instance, your full name. So I, let's fill this out together. I will use my, um, my data. Of course, use, you use, please, your data. So my full name would be Roman Scorzos. Oops, I still have uh, my, um, oops, my German keyboard here activated. Let me change that, okay. Then your username, this is fully up to you, right? You can use any username you want. There are some restrictions, I think, uh, when it comes to underscores, so uh, uh, make sure you use a compliant username, but Kobo Toolbox will um, warn you about that. Then your email address, right? Make sure when you use your email address that, um, <laughs> that you can access this because after that you will receive an email where you need to verify the registration with Kubo Toolbox, right? 
partners that have created an account and then they use an email address that they cannot access or they typed it wrongly, right? And then they need to register again. So I just want to make sure, use your email address that you can access now and of course make sure it's the right one. Then please indicate your country. Uh, here's a list of uh, perhaps all the countries and territories of the world. Um, but all these fields are mandatory. However, uh, I'd want to explain you why they are here, like the country and your sector and the organization type. This helps the developers of Kobo Toolbox to, uh, to see who is using their service, uh, perhaps improve it and, you know, just get some more information about uh, their clients, right? So in my case, I would, I'm in the Philippines. Um, I'm living in the Philippines, so my country would be Philippines. Um, since I'm working for humanitarian data solutions, I would say my, um, my sector is either the private sector or perhaps in the humanitarian coordination information management. But as you can see, there are uh, plenty of sectors here from public administration, finance and insurance, environment, so or something either something else, something other. Uh, just make sure you pick the right one for you. So let's say I'm in the coordination information management of the humanitarian sector. Then your organization type, uh, either it's non-profit, government institution, organ education organization, a commercial or for-profit company, or I'm not associated with any organization. Again, it's fully up to you um, what you pick here. Um, then you can uh, check or uncheck if you want to receive updates uh, about Kobo Toolbox. You know, normally I'm not a big fan of newsletters uh, and things like that, but for Kobo Toolbox, indeed I receive it because sometimes they add new features or uh, there's some important information about downtimes or things like that. By the way, this happens. I have never experienced it about downtimes, but it can happen, right? So I would say, um, tick this, it won't hurt you. And Kobo Toolbox is really one of the good guys. So don't worry. Um, then you need to agree that you, uh, that you, I mean, you need to check that you agree with the terms and services and the privacy policy. And lastly, you need to create uh, a password um, and confirm this password with the same one. Again, make sure you don't forget that password, right? So perhaps either you use one of, that you know already um, or you generate one with a password creator. Uh, again, it's fully up to you. Um, just make sure you can remember it because you will use it. Um, and once you're done, you please click on um, create account um, and then Kobo Toolbox will create your account but send you a verification email, right? So after this and after you click create an account, please go to your email. Uh, you should see the email there. If it's not there, of course, please go to your spam folder um, and then uh, um, verify the re account registration um, and then you're basically good to go and then you can log into the, log into the, um, right so if you have done this congratulations you have your first <laughs> you have access now to the Kobo toolbox uh, uh, platform so in the next chapter we will look at the platform itself you know get the basic hang of it you know where's what what can you do and where do you find something um, before we start creating our first form okay thank you so much see you soon